Hello and welcome to the training on the Select a Floor Estimizer. Uh, this is a training on how to measure square footage. If you've never measured square footage before, it may seem intimidating, but it's really quite simple. Of course, everything is simple once we learn how to do it. So let's dive right in. Here we see a little square in front of us and some letters that may not make any sense. What this is, is the formula to measuring the square footage or square area, really, for any square or rectangular shape. TSF stands for total square footage equals L, which stands for length, times the width. And you can use other descriptions like depth, height, um, maybe others that I'm not thinking of right now, but uh, uh, that doesn't really matter. What really matters is that you, you measure two sides when calculating the square area of a uh, square or rectangular shape. So let's call this side over here. We're going to call this for our purposes the, and try to get it straight, the length. And we'll call this side over here the width and we're not drawing to scale or anything but we're just going to call this for our purposes a 10 by 10 shape and since we're talking about footage it's going to be a 10 foot by 10 foot and that equals 10 by 10 for math geniuses 100 and there we have measured the square footage of this shape Let's say that this is a rather simplified version of a blueprint of a kitchen that we want to build. And off the side of this kitchen is going to be uh, a little pantry. Good size pantry, actually. That's going to be, well, since this is a 10 by 10 and that looks to be about half, uh, we'll call that a 5 by 5. So we want to add that to our total square footage. Uh, so all we do, our trusty little formula, length times width, and that gives us 5 by 5. Math geniuses out there say what? They say, well, easy. That's 5 by 5 equals 25 and uh, we're calling this an additive or it's an addition to our original square footage measurement so now we've got the kitchen and a rather large pantry uh, but wait there's more let's say that we have an island that sits in the middle of our kitchen that we don't want to put flooring underneath whether it's hardwood or laminate or tile, uh, we're, we're trying to be as uh, economical about this as we can. So we decide we don't want to put our finished flooring underneath this island. So we have to deduct that measurement. Well, how do we do that? Well, simple. Remember, same exact formula is going to work. We take our measurements and we say, I don't know, this looks like two maybe by six not the scale just for our purposes but this is going to be a deductive so minus two times six and that equals twelve so our total square footage for this project is going to be a hundred plus twenty five so hundred and twenty five minus twelve if my math is right that's hundred and thirteen square feet simple but let's take a look at an actual floor plan of a kitchen and see how this might work uh, in a little bit more complicated way here we see the kitchen we got all kinds of things going on we've got a range over here that uh, that usually will have finished flooring underneath it these uh, uh, areas here are cabinets in the L pattern and then this little uh, end here we've got a sink which usually does not get uh, finished flooring underneath but we have a dishwasher which usually does get finished flooring and a refrigerator that usually gets finished flooring 
And then we have here an island that it tells us that it's 72 inches, although it doesn't tell us that that's the length. I'm pretty sure that's what they mean. But there's a 15-inch overhang that these chairs sit underneath. So we're going to have finished flooring that goes right up to the edge of the, of the cabinet here. But we don't want to tile under these areas. So you could try to square out for the you know for the range uh, for this area here underneath the dishwasher I mean you could measure 10 or 11 different squared out areas that gets complicated to me I like simplicity so here's how I do it first of all verify that we've got a 12 by 12 uh, uh, room here right so we measure length times width Sure enough, that's going to be a 12 by 12. So 12 times 12, and if my math is right, that's 144 square feet. Doesn't look like we're adding anything to that. This is just going to be deductive measurements from here. So minus, let's do our first, which is going to be our island. So we measure from there to there length times width and let's say that that turns out to be uh, I don't know that looks like uh, 72 inches is 6 feet so 6 uh, minus or excuse me 6 multiplied by we're gonna call that 2 equals 12 okay uh, then we have to get our uh, our cabinets here so let's say that this measurement here, cabinets are usually two feet in depth, but again, we want to verify, so that's two feet. Now we're going to measure from here all the way across to the wall, because this whole area over here has to be deducted out. Then we measure and here's a little trick we're not going to square this off and then square this off and square this off we've already got the depth which is continual now we just need to have the length of this entire thing so we've looked we've measured all the way to the wall now we're measuring here and we're going to be measuring here so let's say that from this from the edge of the dishwasher to the wall that looks like uh, probably five let's say it's seven feet then from this edge to the edge, the, the front edge of the, the, uh, of the stove is another three feet. And although I don't think this is quite two feet, uh, let's call this two feet just for simplicity. So we had seven plus three plus two, right? Okay, so we're going to deduct. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. Okay? So now we're ready. Uh, doesn't look like we have anything else to deduct out. We've taken everything out that we need to. So now we have our total square footage for this project equals 144 minus... 36 because 24 and 36 uh, 24 and 12 is 36 and that leaves us with 108 if my math is right and it is and that's the to total square footage for this project so when you're measuring square footage the idea is to to uh, break it down into uh, the, the most simple blocks that you can and you either add in or uh, subtract, so additive or deductive, to get your total square footage, and things will be great. Okay, uh, we appreciate your time. We hope you've learned some good things, and we'll see you up on the other trainings. Thank you.